No time for an intro, I forgot to buy presents, I'll be right back. Hello everyone, and welcome to the penultimate episode of the Season of Salt. I hope you're all doing well, and staying safe. Before we run headfirst into this run, I just wanted to say a few words, what with it being almost Christmas and all. Also, don't forget to stick around till the end to see what we're doing next week for the final video of the year. So first, I just wanted to give out a sincere thank you to everyone who's made this little corner of the internet possible. What started as a few close friends and family who just wanted to keep tabs on a creative endeavor of mine throughout the quarantine has expanded into a whopping 230 plus group who somehow decided that they thought I was funny, creative, or loopy enough to subscribe to. That's almost five school buses full of people. Can you imagine? I certainly can't. I've always been a close friends only kind of guy, so the circle of people that I talk to on a monthly basis has always been, I don't know, 30 people or less? To think that 230 people decided to show up on a Saturday to get together and watch me do a challenge run? I, I just can't. And that's just the subscribers. That doesn't even include the lurkers. Speaking of, how are ya? Glad you can make it. It's okay if you don't want to subscribe, I get it. Commitment is scary. I'm just glad you're here. Long story short, you guys are amazing. Thanks for making what has been one of the hardest years of my life into an enjoyable experience. You have no idea how great it feels when I see your comments and read all your suggestions. It really takes the sting out of the madness we're going through right now. So with all my heart, thank you. Speaking of madness, I believe we have a deathless run to complete. This run was... Uh, a thing. And because of that, the video was a little bit harder to make than usual. Full disclosure, I hate losing. And so when I started this run, I got so nervous about fucking it up that I didn't take a break in between sections to write the script. Normally, I beat a boss, take a minute to think about what happened, then write the script for that section before I lose my train of thought. That didn't happen this time around. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Can you beat Sultan Sanctuary without dying? And also out of curiosity, can you count every single enemy in the game at the same time because why not? Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Let's go over the rules. First, we have to select the Hardcore Challenge option when we create our character. This will ensure that we can't cheat or give ourselves any leeway on any of our deaths. It's a slippery slope once you decide that the spindle bees are complete bullshit anyway, so that death didn't count, and you know what, so are the drowned porcelain with their stupid grab and stab, and now that I think about gravity in the watching woods is pretty <coughs> So yeah, just just turn that on. Second, all equipment, weapons, magics, miracles, etc. are allowed. If you can get it naturally, it's free game. Easy enough. Third, no cheating or exploits. Play the game as intended, you doofus. There's no challenge in not dying if you can just long jump all over the place. And, as an additional challenge, you must defeat every single enemy in the game. Because that's Pandora's box I opened at one point, and it still haunts me. Hopefully today's the day we get to close that lid. So with all that in mind, what's the plan? Well, to be honest, there really isn't one. We could have been maxed to the extreme, grabbing golden wine and a jaws of death and just overpower everything in our path, but that's boring and done to death, no pun intended. Rather than do that, I decided to just use my tried and true build that I use for every RPG I play. The Paladin. Heavy sustainability, heavy damage potential, it's a beautiful thing when done right. Whenever I play an RPG that supports this kind of build, it usually looks something like this. A spear and a heavy shield, with a dagger and a parrying shield as a backup, heavy armor, and any and all items that would give me health regen, be it armors, charms, rings, miracles, whatever the game's got. Also, any holy buffs for defense and offense are must-haves. So throw that into context for Salt and Sanctuary, and you can imagine that this build was not as optimal as I could have made it. I've always been disappointed that the daggers don't get an extra critical boost like most other games, or that the prayers don't offer a slow health regen option. But despite these setbacks, I figured it would still be a solid build that would be fun to play around with. So how'd it go? Well, uh... I don't know. Let's just jump in, it's a bit hard to explain. For this run I decided not to name myself anything punny, but just to embrace the run. I plugged in my name, and made myself as real to life as possible. This is probably the closest you're ever going to get to a face reveal, so drink it in. At this point, I was super excited to start the run. I was really curious how far I could make it with my planned build, and I was thinking about all the numbers and the resistances I would need to overcome, and how I would need to stop and think and pre-plan all my encounters. And then I pressed start. And as I stared at that text, appearing on the screen, all thoughts of builds and values just kind of melted away. I wasn't some guy playing a game, making a YouTube video, and following a script. I was Lemon, the Paladin, Warrior of Devara, and the Fourth Lamb, who just so happened to be a wolf in Lamb's clothing. I would not die. I could not die. I only have one life to live, and this is my time. Carl! Get my pump-up jams! Is that a lawnmower?
Fuck. Fuck. That's what we got. Jesus, no, not again. Come on, 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 come on. Oh. I'm old Greg! I do watercolors. Oh god, my heart. Can anyone else feel their pulse in their eyes? No? Just me? Okay. So can you beat Salt and Sanctuary without dying? Yeah, yeah you can. Well, the cost is about a year off your life. Worth it. Anyway, let's tally up the total, shall we? Ironically, the only enemy I couldn't kill was a salt bat, because I never died. 
Oh, and actually I didn't kill any Sanctuary Guardians on my run either, as I completely spaced on the fact that I could desecrate Sanctuaries. Whoops. For the sake of maths, Salt Bats will get the Quantifier unlimited, while Sanctuary Guardians can have, I don't know, let's just say 80. There's 21 Sanctuaries in the game, and whenever you desecrate a Sanctuary, you're attacked by 4 Sanctuary Guardians. You'd only really be able to desecrate 20 other Sanctuaries for your Creed maximum, so that's your grand total. Of course, you could always swap creeds at the last sanctuary and do another round of betrayals, but 80 is probably where most sane people will stop, so we're just going to go with that. So there you have it. A deathless run, and the answer to the question you never asked. Well, one of you asked. Thanks again to Bob the Jill and Lightsnake for suggesting these runs. Please never ask anything of me ever again. Just kidding. These two runs were definitely challenge runs in every sense of the word. I'm going to need a break after that. What? Oh, right, shoot, we have one more week, don't we? Alright, no rest for the wicked, I guess. In fact, let's kick it up a notch. It's the last episode, we have to do something special for it. I've got it! Let's bring it back around to where it all began. This channel had humble beginnings, but it really kicked off when I uploaded my Fist Only run. It seems only appropriate that we remember where we came from. But doing the same challenge run twice in a row would be kind of a waste. We already know the answer to that one. But with the power of Christmas spirit, I can transcend this mortal plane! <laughs> Ha-ha! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, next week we're going to punch our way through- Wait a minute, what are these? What's attached to my hands and feet? Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. I hope you've been enjoying the season of Salt so far. The last video will be out next Saturday, as per usual. Consider it a late Christmas gift. If you're feeling generous, it would greatly help me out if you gave the video a like. Or if you want to see more of this nonsense, you can always subscribe as well. Both really help out the channel, so thank you in advance. You're always welcome to leave a comment or a run suggestion down below, and if you want to reach out to me in some other fashion, I'm all over the internet. Pictures on the screen, links in the description. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Reach out to your families, friends, and loved ones. Have some eggnog. Pet a dog. And stay safe.